Well, I was just passing by the ice cream section, and my cart kind of bumped into him. Uh -huh. And then we started talking, and before I knew it, he asked me out. We have a date for Saturday night. All right. Oh, and get this, he's really rich. Hold it, you asked him how much money he has? No, I looked in his cart. Caviar, champagne, filet mignon. That doesn't mean he's rich. Hey, the cart never lies. <laughs> okay, Mom, I'll see you when you and Dad get into town. All right. I love you, too. Bye. So, Mac, your folks are coming to Miami? Yeah, they'll be here on Saturday. Ah, the parents are going to finally get to meet the girlfriend. You nervous? Nah, not really. Scared to death. <laughs> Just come on, it's just, my folks have never been to Miami, and I want them to see how well I'm doing. Now, I know how important this is to you, honey, and I told you, I'll help any way I can. Oh, which reminds me, you and I have to get our story straight before they get here. What do you mean? Well, for one thing, as far as my parents are concerned, you and I have never had sex. Ah! <laughs> yes, my dad's a Southern Baptist minister. He doesn't believe in premarital sex. Do you really think I'd discuss the private, intimate details of our personal lives with your parents? I'm sorry, I'm just... Mac, nervous. you gotta relax. Everything's gonna be fine. Now we'll have a nice, quiet dinner. And then afterwards, we'll listen to some soft music and pass around a doobie. <laughs> just, just kidding. God, you're so easy. Athens to Athens, dusk to dusk. We don't know where we're going. Ridiculous. I don't know why I let you talk me into this. Come on, Paul. You're never going to meet anyone unless you get out and circulate. Well, I do got to admit, there are a lot of good-looking people here, but uh, I'm not sure if it's my scene, if you get my drift. Way ahead of you, buddy. That's why I brought you here to aisle 13. Kind of a <laughs> mixed group. <laughs> How about him? <laughs> Come on. Open your eyes. He's obviously a breeder. <laughs> How can you tell? Well, look at what he's wearing. He's got skinny arms. Every gay man knows you must earn the right to wear a tank top. <laughs> How about here? Hmm. Hard to tell. Well, one way to see for sure. Let's see what's in the cart. Randy. Hey, the cart never, never lies. lies. Come on. <laughs> GQ magazine. Good sign. <laughs> Few silly. Huh, the gayest of all pastas. <laughs> Might all. He's got a girlfriend. Well, either that or he's really moody. <laughs> well, you keep scoping out here. I'm heading over to beer and wine. For all the easy girls hang out. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, excuse me. My fault. <laughs> Jess. Hey. What are you doing here? May I remind you that you're in a relationship? Paul, I'm shopping for groceries. <laughs> Forgot they do that here. I'm having my parents over for dinner. And since they're so conservative, I thought it might be wise to impress them with a delicious home-cooked meal. And you'll manage that how? <laughs> my homemade quiche. My homemade crescent roll. My homemade stuffed salmon something or others. And for dessert, I picked up one of my famous made from scratch apple pie. And the recipe. Sounds good. Yeah. Hopefully I'll impress Mac's parents and they'll like me and Mac can stop worrying. Uh, Jess, Jess, no offense, but I'm trying to find someone to love me, so if you could... Oh, hmm? no problem. <laughs> hey, how'd it go from beer and wine? Pretty dead, but... See that guy right there? Oh, yes, we had some major eye contact. <laughs> well, then you are in luck, because I got a look in his cart. Get this. Low-fat port wine cheddar. Good sign. Few silly. <laughs> the gayest, gayest of all, all pastas. <laughs> and a bottle of Vidal Sassoon hairstyling mousse. I'm going in. Hey, 
Just going in to talk to Supervisor Zwick. About some scheduling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> well, how'd it go with that guy? Wait. You have the unmistakable glow of someone who hasn't been rejected recently. <laughs> Here it is. His phone number. <laughs> Not voicemail, mind you, but the number of an honest-to-goodness phone where he might actually be reached. I feel pretty. <laughs> Paul, I'm so excited it worked out for you, too. So, Spill, we want to know everything about him. Oh, he's just the nicest guy and, and funny and successful. We're going out tomorrow night. Oh, God, I gotta think of something special for us to do. Oh, you know what, Paul? My date and I were supposed to go out tomorrow night, but he had to reschedule for tomorrow afternoon. So I have two tickets to the symphony I'm not gonna use. They're yours if you want them. Well, that sounds great. It'll be boring. We'll have to leave early. I like it. <laughs> Good. So come over to our place sometime tomorrow and pick them up. Great. Now I gotta go to Lenora's office and get the flight schedule. Gotta block out time for the future, Mr. Stedman. I know, I'm sorry I'm late. It took me forever to get dressed. Your parents aren't here yet, are they? No, they're not, but I'm expecting them here any minute now. What are you wearing? You don't like it? Just the last thing I said to you was to wear something conservative. Oh, Mac, I'm sure that'll be fine. <sighs> well, can't you... Stuff them down in there better? I think so. <laughs> Just remember, my dad's a preacher. He's a real stickler on moral issues, and I don't want to do anything that would make him uncomfortable. Okay, okay, I'll do my best. Oh! Oh! Honey, you don't know how I have missed you! Good to see you, MacArthur. Hey, Mom, that, look, I want you to meet my friends. Yes, yeah, sure. Maggie. Hey. And this is Hi, Randy. Oh, hello there, young nice man. How you doing? Good to see you. And this is my girlfriend, Jess. Oh. Yes. Mark had said you were lovely, but he didn't do you justice. <laughs> Thank you. Ma'am. <laughs> MacArthur tells us you're a flight attendant. You enjoy that line of work? Oh, it's great. I only work about four days a week, and that allows me time to do other stuff. Really? Like what? Flight. <laughs> Working with the poor. That must be very rewarding. Oh, we have a great time. You know, we really should be going. Our lunch reservations are for 1.30. Jess, why don't you and I go get the car and pull it around front? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Great. Right. Okay, great. Now, will you two be joining us today? Oh, I, I'm afraid not. I have a date with this guy I've just started seeing. Oh. I got plans myself. Oh. Well, maybe some other time. Yeah. Right. Oh, there he is. Hey, gorgeous. Hey. Oh. This is Reverend and Mrs. Edwards. They're parents of a friend of mine. Hello. Very nice to meet you. Justin. How are you? Nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. Justin. What a lovely name. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Randy. Hey. Don't I know you? I don't think so. Hey, I bet that's MacArthur. Excuse us. Yes. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet Bye. you. Well, I guess we should be going too. I could swear I have seen you before and recently too. Can't imagine where, but if you figure it out, let me know. Trust me, you would have done the same thing. When a day takes you. Nelson, Nelson. Hey, that poodle was alive when I put it on the plane. <laughs> no, I was just wondering if you knew where Paul is. Oh, check Lenora's office. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. What's all this about a poodle? Nothing. <laughs> that you can prove. <laughs> Nor is Paul. <laughs> and that's how we did CPR in Vietnam. I'm sure it'd be 
will save many a life here at Regency. Oh, my God. Brandy, I know what you must be thinking. And I assure you, there's absolutely nothing between Supervisor Zwick and myself. <laughs> I, I, I gotta go. I, I gotta find Paul. I got something real important I gotta tell him. Oh, no, you don't. Brandy, this is a matter of privacy. We both know how vicious gossip can ruin lives. No, what I want to tell Paul has nothing to do with you, Lenore. Maggie went to the supermarket and met a guy, and they started dating. Paul went to the supermarket, and he met a guy, and they started dating. And it's the same guy. How humiliating for them. <laughs> Spread it around. <laughs> CPR. <laughs> Nora, this is what I was afraid of. Not comfortable with our private moments becoming public knowledge. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe for the good of our careers, we should keep our distance. <laughs> Woman, are you mad? Don't you have any self-control? Begin. There you go, Ma. Oh, Back this is so good. Hey, this is wonderful. Oh, good. Mm. Jess, I gotta thank you. Baby, you have been great. My parents had a ball this afternoon, and now dinner's just going really well, and I couldn't have done it without you. You're welcome. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> so, water? Oh, yes, I'd oh, love yes, some. Thank you. Same. Jess, mm -hmm. those sweet potatoes you made were mm. delicious. Yeah. What's your secret? Nutmeg? Probably. <clears throat> I mean, they're jam-packed full of stuff. <laughs> so, how long have you two been dating? Oh, a few months on and off. Nothing too serious. Good, good. Take your time. Young people are always rushing into things they're not ready for. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, well, hello there. No, no problem. Well, how did your date with Justin go today? He seemed like a fine young man. Yeah. Oh, he is. In fact, it went so great, he asked me out again for tomorrow night. Oh, that's great. So I went shopping for a dress. Here, I want to see if you like it. Oh, Maggie, girl, where'd you find it? See, now that is the smuttiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> You're going to help her wearing something like that. Now you go to your room. <laughs> what the heck are you wearing? I'll tell you later. Just get out. <laughs> Coffee, anyone? I'd love some. William kept me up half the night snoring, and after eating all this, I could fall asleep sitting up. <laughs> snoring must run in the family. Mac was cutting so many Z's last night, I had to come out here and sleep on the couch. You sleep here? No, no, no. What I meant was, Mac was napping on the couch, and I had to wake him, he was snoring so loud. No, 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 no. You said you had to sleep on the couch. Yeah, yeah, we were both sleeping on the couch. See, uh, we fell asleep watching Monday Night Football. Yesterday was Friday. You sure? Son, I cannot support that kind of behavior. Physical relations are a serious matter. Uh, yes, sir, but, but, but this is a serious relationship. M Mom, Dad, Jess and I, we're, we're engaged. <laughs> So was I. Uh, Matt, can I see you in the kitchen now? Well, I had no idea you felt so strongly about each other. <laughs> well, it just sort of happened, <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> Engaged? What are you, crazy? Well, I wouldn't have had to say that if you hadn't spilled your guts about us sleeping together. I couldn't help it. Your mother tricked me. My mother did not trick you. Why can't you just keep your mouth shut? <laughs> None of this would have happened if you'd been honest with your parents from the start. Nothing good ever comes from lying. <laughs> you don't want to talk about lying, little Miss Home Cooked Meal. Hey, I caught a slit in that cellophane and popped it into the microwave. Now, if that ain't home cooking, I don't know what is. <laughs> now, William, William, now don't be upset. At least they're engaged, and they truly seem to love one another. Well, I guess you're right. Things could be worse. I'll get it. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Hi. Oh, you must be Mrs. Edwards. Yes. I I'm Paul, and this is my date, Justin. Oh. <laughs> Who is it, Mom? It's Paul. And his date, Justin. <laughs> oh, God, no. Hi, Paul. Hey, Jeff. What the 
heck are you wearing? Oh, just one of my favorites. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, uh, Maggie's giving me some tickets to the symphony tonight for my date. Oh, Jess, Mac, come here. This is Justin. It's very nice to meet you. Hey. <laughs> and look, gave me a rose. <laughs> oh, God, no. I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, son, can I speak to you in private for a second? Dad, uh, not right now. Jess and I have to get dessert ready. Oh, yeah, my high apple pie's coming right up. <laughs> I thought I heard Paul's voice, and I... Justin. Maggie! <laughs> what are you doing here? I live here. What are you doing here? Oh, this should be good. <laughs> I, uh, was just, uh, I came to see you. <gasps> But how did you know where I lived? I got lucky. <laughs> what? Look, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to say how much fun I had today and to make sure we're still on for tomorrow night. Oh, absolutely. In fact, I bought the cutest new dress. Wait, and I'll show it to you. Oh, you remember Reverend and Mrs. Edwards, don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Young man, just what do you think you're doing? Now, William, now don't be harsh. Remember, judge not lest ye be judged. I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Yes, ma'am, there is. I cruised them both at the grocery store at different times and picked them up. I'm bisexual. Oh, God, no. <laughs> this night is turning into a disaster. Did you relax? Now, we can still salvage this. What does that smell? I don't know. Justin, you ready to get out of here? Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, Maggie, Maggie, I need those oh, tickets. Yeah, here. But first, I want you to meet somebody. Oh, so do I. <laughs> this, this is, is Justin. Justin. <laughs> He's my date. <laughs> Justin is the guy I met at the supermarket. Uh, Justin is the guy I met at the supermarket. But he's dating me. Oh, but he's dating me. Actually, I'm dating both of you. <laughs> the car lied. You're dating the same man. Oh, God, no. Mom, Dad, you don't understand. There's a logical explanation for all this. Oh, oh yes, there is. Justin cruised them both at a grocery store and picked him up. He's bisexual. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get it this time. I'll get it. Yes, I... What the heck are you... Later. Oh, oh, I need to talk to Maggie and Paul. I'm so glad you're here. I need to tell you and Maggie about... Justin. <laughs> you remembered where you saw me, didn't you? I cannot believe what's going on here. I mean, is this the kind of life you people lead? Don't any of you have a sense of morality? Will you please, let's just forget tonight's unpleasantness and celebrate Mac and Jess's engagement. What? That's incredible. Oh. Man, this has been a heck of a day. I just caught Rex with his tongue down Lenora's throat. What? what? Now, who are Rex and Lenora? Emily, I need my medication. Wait a minute. I don't know that that's right. Nobody's I want to tell you. Nobody's going to tell you. Nobody's going to tell you. Stop, stop, stop. Everyone, just 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 stop. All right. You, you, and you, upstairs now. Where are we going? To the bedroom. You hear that, Emily? We're going to the bed one. <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry about all this. Uh... <laughs> Don't even think about it. Okay, because we really need to get this straight. So everyone, just come on in. Come and have a seat. <laughs> if you'd feel more comfortable. <laughs> Matt, don't you have something you want to tell your parents? Uh, yes, I do. Um, Mom, Dad, I'm afraid this whole evening's been one big lie. The truth is, Jess can't cook. Don't lie the other lie. You mean about our not really being engaged? That's the one. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. I guess I just wanted you to think I was still living up to the moral standards you taught me. Oh, and you hope to achieve that by lying to us? Okay. Yeah, that was the general idea. 
I guess I just wanted you to be proud of me. But hey, this is my life, and this is who I am, and I love Jess very much. And I have wonderful friends, and I accept them for who they are. Although I will admit this Justin thing is a little sick. Yeah. Yeah. Sweetheart, you're our son. We may not always agree with you, but we're still proud of you. Right, we? Yeah. He's a man, and he has a right to live his own life. So, you guys are okay with everything? Well, we'll pray for you. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Edwards? Yes? I hope you and the Reverend aren't too angry that Mac and I, well, you know, we're not married, and, and we've been... <laughs> Honey, you don't think we were young once? Hmm? You mean you and the reverend? He wasn't always a reverend. Ooh. <laughs>